Hi, this is Brian D. Hill, the former news reporter of USWGO Alternative News. Um, I heard about the Sandy Hook uh, verdict, the stuff against Alex Jones regarding the Sandy Hook and here's my view on Alex Jones. Alex Jones is a traitorous viper. He is a traitorous viper. Here's the reason why I think Alex Jones is a traitorous viper. Because he knew I was innocent of my charged possession of child pornography. He knew I was innocent. Rob Dew knew I was innocent. Here's why. He knew about what was in the, the download dates where it said 454 uh, files were downloaded with the email program between the dates July 20, 2012 and July 20, 2013. My computer was seized on August 28, 2012. I had told the police detectives and it was in the, uh, the confession audio and I gave a false confession. Um, because they probably weren't going to let me leave the office unless I told them that I was downloading child porn. So I gave them a false confession and they allowed me to leave, you know, and 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 I gave them a false statement. It was about a year or so and the download dates were only uh, July 20, 2012 till, till August 28 2012 when they conducted the police raid and the files continued downloading the the email kept downloading until august 28 2013 from their own report from the state bureau of investigation when it was under rodney white it kept downloading and it was i believe it was win 32 moly vampire a computer virus and all this information was given to infowars to Alex Jones, to Rob Dew, and they ignored it. And Rob Dew personally spoke with me over the phone in 2018, and he said, if you can prove the government fucked up, we'll write an article. Rob Dew lied to me. They never did an article about me being set up with child porn. Guess who did an article? It was Luke Radowski of We Are Change. I mean, well, I mean, it was a, I mean, Luke Radowski authorized it, but it was uh, Aaron Cassell, who was a uh, re contract reporter, reporter, uh, I mean, uh, uh, he worked for We Are Change. And he also did an article on Activist Post. My family got me a printout of it, and I saw that the only people who really stood up for me was Luke Radowski of We Are Change who did work with Alex Jones of InfoWars, you know, kind of his comrades. I know, I know Alex Jones because I met him at the Hyatt Place Hotel in Chantilly, Virginia. I met the guy and I met Stuart Rhodes for the first time in my life. I thought he would help me. I thought we were bros. Alex Jones stabbed me in the back when I went to, to jail. When I went through the federal jails and I kept being transported from jail to jail to the U.S. Marshal Service. Alex Jones never stood up for me. He never stood up for me. And I did work for Alex Jones to a certain degree. What I mean is I got him the documents. I had contacted Homeland Security and I had done a FOIA request to the Department of uh, Homeland Security through a FOIA. And I asked for records, and one of them was InfoWars. I gave those to InfoWars. I gave him the documents from my FOIA request when I was running USWGO Alternative News. And what did Alex Jones do? He never came up to me and say, Hey, Brian, thank you! Thank you for giving me the FOIA documents.
proven that Homeland Security was spying on Alex Jones. I got all this proof that Homeland Security was spying on conspiracy man Alex Jones. Did he ever thank me? Did he ever thank me and say, thank you, Brian, thank you? Now, I will, I will say this. He did have it on his website back when I was allowed to use the internet. In 2012, before I was raided by Mayadam police on the child pornography, you know, the whole setup. And I have the proof I was set up. Because of the, the download dates for 11 months after the, the police have seized my computer. I, I was willing to give that. I was willing to take a risk and give him, give him, you know, photographs of the discovery materials to show him that child porn was downloading for 11 months and he didn't have the computer. I mean, I didn't have the computer for 11 months child porn was supposedly downloading on it. And did Alex Jones ever say, oh, gee whiz, the government fucked up. Okay, we'll write an article on it, as Rob Dew told me over the phone in 2018. He knew I was being set up with child porn. He knew. He knew I was set up with child porn. He knew it. And did he write an article on it? No. Alex Jones, uh, Alex Jones of InfoWars is a liar. Alex Jones of InfoWars is a liar. Even before the Sandy Hook thing. I have been a loyal son of the Republic and my family for more than 14 generations has been. And I know what they do when you expose them. They say you're a pedophile. We knew it was coming. And when the Obama appointed U.S. attorney demanded out of 9.6 emails, 9.6 million emails in the last seven years in Sandy Hook, metadata, which meant tracking the emails and where they went. Well, we, we fought it in court. The judge ordered for us to release a uh, large number of those emails. That's Chris Matty that got that done. A very interesting individual at the firm of Koskoff and Koskoff run by Senator Murphy and Senator Blumenthal that say for America to survive, quote, I must be taken off the air. So they're very naked about what they stand for. And so we learned in just the last few days that when they wanted these hundreds of thousands of emails out of the 9.6 million, that they had attachments to them that no one would know what they were. We hadn't opened this. The FBI's come out and said, I'm the victim. And a statement's coming out officially. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Connecticut. But what's interesting is we checked with real IT people, because we're not IT folks, we made some calls and they said, no, you wouldn't know what was in attachments and you wouldn't know what they linked to because they the FBI looked at it, they said, we're the victim. It was hidden in, in, in Sandy Hook emails threatening us. That was child porn. So it's on record. We were sent child porn. We're not involved in child porn, but... I know Alex Jones is guilty of Sandy Hook defamation because... He lied about me. Alex Jones, along with Darren McBreen and Rob Dew are all liars. I know they're liars. Darren McBreen, when I tried to talk with him, I was going to let him know I have proof the government effed up. You know, government fucked up. And here's what he said. How did you get this number? I thought I changed the number. No, he didn't. That was the same number I was talking to Darren McBreen. And Darren McBreen says, I'm going to block you. And I was about to call him out a cuss word. And he hung up on me. He didn't care that I was set up with child porn. And then in the Sandy Hook case, I saw, you know, the media put out videos where Alex Jones was like, Oh, put his head on a pike. F heads. In fact like this you fucks are gonna get it you fucking child molesters i'll fucking get you in the end you fucks now we're done right there i know i i know i should have deleted it on radio probably still went out i don't care you're trying to set me up with child porn i'm gonna get your ass one million dollars one million dollars you little gang members one million dollars to put your head on a pike 
One million dollars, bitch. Whoever tried to set me up with the CP, I will put his head on a pike. Alex Jones, when he was being set up with child porn, all of a sudden his world, oh, he acted like his world was coming to an end. He's a liar. Okay, maybe he did get, yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe someone did set him up with child porn. The FBI did agree that somebody tried to set up Alex Jones with child porn. That's true. However, Alex Jones, he, he is innocent that somebody, you know, someone tried to set him up with child porn in the Sandy Hook case, the defamation case. However, he knew I was being set up with child porn. He knew it. He knew it. And Alex Jones knew it. He knew I was set up. He knew it. And he had the gall to block my friends and family's emails from even being emailed. He's blocked them. Infowars.com is blocking emails from anybody. Friends and family. Stanley Bolton. Alex Jones is Judas. Alex Judas ought to be his name. I'm speaking out because he lost the Sandy Hook defamation case. That is true. Because he knew I was set up with CP. He knew it. He knew it. And I'm on the registry because of Alex Jones. My final message to Alex Jones, burn in hell Alex Jones, I hope those Sandy Hook parents take everything from you. I hope Alex Jones loses everything. I hope he does. I hope Alex Jones loses all of his money in the Sandy Hook defamation case. This is Brian D. Hill on August the 4th, 2022, and this is my viewpoints on Alex Jones. He's guilty of defaming the Sandy Hook parents with the, you know, by acting like they were actors. He is guilty because he stabbed me in the back too. Here's what I want to bring up before I go. My family were accused of being actors. When I was arrested, after I was set up with child porn, um, Alex Jones, uh, my family were trying to get his attention. Thousands of my supporters, my followers on Facebook, when I used to be USWGO Brian Hill on Facebook, and I was almost gonna kill myself. Yes, I admit that. I was almost gonna cut my, slit my throat. I was almost going to do that in 2013. I was arrested by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. And Alex Jones, my, so many of my followers, my supporters back then, were going to try to get Alex Jones to cover this. Instead, my family were called actors. Actors. You want to know who else were called actors? The Sandy Hook parents and their kids were all actors. Oh, want to know who brought that up? Alex Jones and his supporters were calling them actors. You want to know who else were called actors? Roberta Hill, Stella Fornash, Kenneth Fornash. We, they were all called actors. Just like Sandy Hook. That's what I want to tell the world. Alex Jones is a liar. Alex Jones is a liar. Darren McBrain is a liar. Rob Dew is a liar. Rob Dew said, if you can prove the government fucked up, that's what he told me over the phone. If you can prove the government fucked up, I will write an article about your child porn case. You want to know who written articles? We are change an activist post with the proof I was set up. He knew 
They knew that it was downloading for 11 months and I didn't even have my computer. They knew I was set up in federal court. My lawyer never showed me the discovery materials. He didn't show me the download dates. And that's why I took a plea agreement saying I'm guilty. My lawyer didn't show me the download dates. If he did, I would have said, go to hell, uh, Eric Plackey. Go to hell. Go to hell, Eric Plackey. And I would have never been convicted of child porn. I would have been found innocent. The jury would have saw right through the government. He would have looked at my eyes. The jury would have saw me bring up the download dates. And the jury would have found me innocent of child porn. And I never would have been on the sex registry. I blame Alex Jones why I'm on the sex registry. It's his fault. He told me to go to my city council to fight the NDAA. And I did that. I went to town council. I became a target. I became a target of the deep state. And Alex Jones is guilty. Alex Jones is guilty of defaming. I agree with the Sandy Hook parents. I agree with them. That's, I rest my case.